Now we go live again because he's got alongside Tom Blomqvist here. This is a critical move for Matthias Ekstrom if he can find a way through. Tom Blomqvist uh, is now coming on the exit to the corner a little bit slower. Matthias Ekstrom gets alongside him. There's absolutely no way Matthias is going to give this one up. He's got the inside line. He's got his nose in front and he's through. Matthias knew exactly how important that was. First chance he gets, he goes through. Champions move that. Matthias Ekstrom is right behind him now as they make the breaks into turn two at the top of the hill. Ekstrom still can't find a way through. And he's still the BMW with its nose in front here in this critical position. These are the first two pit stoppers. They're 12th and 13th at the moment. But here comes Matthias Ekstrom trying to come around the outside now. Marco Wittmann just sits on the racing line, but he can't afford to go deep on the exit here. He's on the curves. He's over the curves. And now Ekstrom gets alongside him through the right-hander. His nose in front, but there's a left-hander coming up. And Wittmann should be able to get there first. Or do you get, or do you let Rocky pass? Do you let Rocky pass and let him have a go at Marco? Exactly. It's the risk of letting of slowing Muller down so much is that Wittman actually passes Muller. Can't win, can't win, can you really? If you let Rocky pass, he might have a go at Wittman, but then you're going to exactly. lose a play. So it's happening. I thought I might try it because he needs to. Rocky's Rocky, quick, isn't he? Rocky looks so much faster than uh, than Eki at this stage. And it, 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 even if Eki doesn't eventually get past, if it actually just demotes Wittman one more position, that's another tick in the box for Audi. It may not necessarily be the most desired result in the world, but as it stands at the moment, Eki's in sixth place, and uh, that's some solid points at least. So here's the replay on board with Tyus Ekstrom, who absolutely made that uh, as easy as possible for Rocky. So we know Rocky's quick. Eki's under pressure from Pafford. <laughs> Eki's got nothing there at all whatsoever. He, he just seems to be struggling completely for pace. As Pafford, Pafford's got to get by him at this rate if he's not careful. Unfortunately, but Rocky's up the road. He can't actually protect uh, Ekstrom, so Ekstrom's gone down to, to it through. six as Pafford Paff goes through. through. Well, Pafford, as well as racing for himself and Mercedes. And this is uh, Eki through. That's Vittman's Vittman's actually gone through. Uh, Vittman's Vittman's gone through and yeah. actually nudged the uh, right front of Eki as, as he did. I think we may see Glock come through uh, shortly as well. Eki's really struggling. I mean, he's got absolutely yeah. no pace whatsoever. At the moment, he lost. Eki lost over a second in that middle sector as well, and yeah, dropped maybe. over 1.2 seconds in total on that lap. I think Glock's also going to come through. Eki seventh at the moment. That may uh, transfer to eight.